Good evening. I feel so lucky to be here tonight among so many family and friends to celebrate my little sister Melissa and her marriage to Chris. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Tracy and I am one of Melissa's older sisters and sometimes, well, most of the time, her harshest critic, biggest advocate, and most importantly, best friend. I'm thankful to be able to share this moment with all of you and to spend some time giving insight into what a special person my sister is. For those of you who haven't known Melissa long, she's that girl that you always want around. You'll quickly learn that Melissa keeps life, life light and laughs heavy. When she walks in the door, her smile contagiously spreads joy and makes all of those around her feel at ease. For those of you who do know Melissa, I'm sure a few of you have been on the receiving end of a wild softball sidearm. Or maybe you've taken your empty glass over for a refill, but Melissa has already finished that bottle. <laughs> or maybe at some point you found yourself alone on the dance floor after she abandoned you to do her own dance move, cutting it out somewhere else, away from you. I know you never let it bother you because that's Melissa. Fun, she loves her people, and will always be unapologetically herself. The thing is, whoa, okay. The thing is, as much as I planned or questioned or gave advice, sometimes unsolicited, Melissa always has always been exactly who she is, and I've always looked up to her for that. Thinking back, though, she was not always this way. Some of us wonder where this gal came from. My older sister and I were pretty sure she came from Lloyd's during a sale, but Melissa doesn't like that story. Where did she come from? <laughs>
but also her fiercest advocate. When it comes to Chris, I see it, you calm her and appreciate her. You really see her for every amazing thing that she is. Everything that I have always wanted her to show to everyone. She deserves every ounce of your love and admiration. Chris, your introspective way of considering others is very loud. <laughs> it's hard not to bounce a little. Chris, your introspective way of considering others is something I first saw when we went camping last year on the peninsula. You took time to be there with us and to really engage, getting to know Blake, me, and our kids. You are someone who speaks thoughtfully and is deliberate with your words, whether it was talking to Everly and Viola on the beach or sharing stories about your family with Blake on our hike. I was happy to deepen our connection with you as part of our family. We appreciate the way you share your time, your generosity, and your spirit. As a family, we Castanias, or Castagnas, depending who you are, all are so different, but the glue that binds us is that we will always be there for one another. Melissa, thank you for always being there for me, especially indulging me in my planning ways from our backyard relay races at your sixth birthday party when your friends wore dad's old clothes to the more mature scavenger hunt for your 30th birthday here in Fremont. This was my way of giving back the fun and entertainment that you've always brought to us. As many of the people in this room can attest, it is in the good times and the bad that Melissa shows up, hopping on a plane at a moment's notice. She's there for her friends, her friends' families, and she is always there for her family. Melissa once flew 3,000 miles to dress and speak as a pirate for Everly's fifth birthday. <laughs> Many people say not to judge someone by their words, but by their actions, and in this they are right. She's a committed, loving sister, daughter, aunt, and friend, and memes that is exactly why Chris and everyone else in this room loves you. I'm so incredibly happy for you both to have found each other and to be entering this next stage in your lives. Chris, you see all the layers and love her whole person, and as time has shown you, certainly have been the best thing that has ever happened to her. To Chris, I say thank you for joining our family, for making Melissa truly happy, and for creating so many adventures with her. You've embraced all that is Melissa, and we're so happy to celebrate you both. At my wedding, a wise man said that great things happen to great people, and that couldn't be more true than today. I would love to propose a toast to Melissa and Chris. May your adventure together bring many laughs, deep, sincere love, and an ever-present tune for dancing. <laughs> Cheers. P.S. We wouldn't hate it if you decided to move back in. <laughs>
I thought he needed somebody that needed more experience in the team, and I told him to pass. Uh, that person is here tonight, that person did not listen to me. They did hire Chris, and Chris had a, had a great, uh, great career at Intercom Hotel School. Um, Chris is on a different team, so I didn't interact with him really at all. Uh, I knew him as the guy in the weird windowless room that just stepped to his, his own projects and didn't interact with him. Um, years later, I interviewed Chris at a different company to join my team. Uh, and again, I didn't think about hiring him. <laughs> that same person that hired him the first time convinced me to hire him. I said I'd be making a huge mistake if I didn't. Uh, I quickly learned and realized that that person was right. And uh, I would not have had the opportunity to get to know Chris. I would not have had the opportunity to have Chris as a best friend. Um, the story of how I met Melissa is, is shorter and a bit less interesting. Uh, but I, I first met Melissa through Chris Harmsley. Uh, Chris had had a rough day at work. Uh, he had like, gone for a walk and left his phone at home. And Melissa texted me and said, Hey, have you heard from Chris? I haven't heard from him in a while. Is he okay? Um, and I said, Yeah. Good day. Please find uh, And that's really my new, like, Melissa was a special person for Chris. She truly cared about him. Um, she was worried about him. Uh, I don't know how she got my number. <laughs> so, uh, and I've been afraid to ask. Um, but, yeah, I knew, I knew they were they were something special. Um, Chris and Melissa are truly the nicest people I know. Uh, they've both been over backwards to help everybody in their lives, to make everybody's lives easier. Um, a really absurd example of this is when Melissa offered to help Chris move the day after they met. <laughs> Chris is my best friend and I left town <laughs> and he had to move. And Melissa was there for him the day after they met. Um, those are truly unique aspects of people and, and are not common. Um, ultimately, the story of Chris and Melissa are that two of the nicest people in the world met and fell in love and decided to spend the rest of their lives together. I wish them a life full of happiness, excitement, and endless love for each other. And now last to the speak, we have the father of the bride, so if you could all please join me in welcoming Al and everyone. Al, please join me. Uh, the first thing I have to talk about is I don't know what they gave you last night at the hospital, but I really want some. <laughs> I'd like to take this opportunity to wish Melissa and Chris the very best. But before I do that, I'd like to share Melissa with those who may not know her that well. Melissa, or Memes, or Mimi, and a whole bunch of other names. She's very kind, compassionate, devoted, intelligent, hardworking, and fun-loving. Memes is also a saver. She, along with the help of my wife, Joanne, has managed to hide stuff like a squirrel <laughs> with their acorns. Bonds, sheds, condos, second houses. <laughs> it's like when you have food and you don't want to eat it, you just put a little around and it doesn't look like you have a lot on your plate. <laughs> puts it in garages and closets with shelves that fall under the weight that I have to fix. Okay, Chris, if you ever buy a house, you will need a full basement, you will need a full attic, you'll need a four-car garage, and you will get the half closet. Melissa attended James Madison University. Is there anybody else here from James Madison? Oh, all right, JMU, great school. 
in Virginia after turning down a full scholarship, <laughs> yes, to the, well, we did, to the University of Buffalo. Hey, that was my chance to recoup New York State high taxes, you know, I mean, now I can get it back, right? No, gotta go to JMU. But it all worked out for the best because she opted to street one night <laughs> down the quad and probably that would have been much colder to do in Buffalo. <laughs> uh, Mames was a business major in JMU, but she has experienced various professional professions since graduation. But think a true passion is really dance. Now, I didn't coordinate this with my daughter, so if there's a repeat, it must be true. Um, I had observed her on very on numerous occasions at weddings back east, and she went to a lot, always a bridesmaid. Not like today, buddy. Yeah. All right. I've witnessed many rather unusual and I can only say Elaine would be very proud. Um, Memes also considers herself to be an accomplished shower singer. Uh, one day I had to actually go downstairs and shut the hot water off to get her to stop and also save myself money on hot water. Uh, she is also an outstanding athlete. She walks, hikes, runs marathons, climbs mountains, whitewater rafts, swims in polar bear plunges, and stars in the football league. All this athleticism is witnessed by this beautiful birthday card that I'm going to show you in a second. Yes! Oh, yes! Yes! This beautiful. Your birthday card I received from her and like to share with the picture with you as she lies on her back like a giant turtle in a huge ditch, unable to right herself and not being able to get up. I assume Chris took the picture and I would assume he was laughing his ass off. But now for the serious stuff, I know this is a um, overused cliche, but I truly believe I am not losing a daughter, but gaining another great son-in-law. Where's Blake? Blake, shout out to you, Blake. Shout out to you, Blake. All right, where am I now? Okay. Chris's parents should be very proud of him. Now let's lift all our glasses and toast Melissa and Chris. May they forever be as happy as they are today. And also one more thing. You know that you're married now, you're gonna get the bill for the ER. Board. Let's use with the father of the bride, Al, and the Lord.